Hi, for this video what I want to do is talk to you about finding a point estimate for the population proportion. Most of the time when you hear things like um, there's a 35% approval rating for a certain politician or 45% of the population agree with this new initiative, things of that nature, most of the times we haven't gone to the entire population because it's too time consuming. So what we do is we go to a sample of people and we find the sample proportion. So the sample proportion is going to be the point estimate for a population proportion. So anytime you hear statements like 35% of the population or 35% of people agree with this or something like that, um, they are using a point estimate and they've asked a sample of people. Okay, so the notation that we use for the sample pro, um, proportion is p hat. So this is labeled as p hat. We do need to denote it with the hat above it to let us know that it is an estimate rather than an actual population proportion. Okay, um, so we're going to find a couple of point estimates in this video. And then in a later video, I will talk about how to find the margin of error. And in order to find the margin of error, you do need to know the point estimate. Okay, so the point estimate for, um, we're going to find the point estimate for these two situations. The first one is 375 people out of 700 surveyed agreed with the new proposal for a tax increase to fund schools. So in order to find our point estimate p hat, all we have to do is we would take our number of successes and divide it by the total number of people surveyed. Okay, so in this case, our number of successes was 375, and we would divide it by 700. And a lot of times we won't leave it as a fraction, you can. Sometimes you will hear people say 375 out of 700 surveyed, and they'll say it exactly like they have here. But most of the time, and for calculation reasons, um, we will, find the approximate value of this. So if I take 375 divided by 700, uh, we get approximately 0.5357. So a lot of textbooks, the one I currently teach from, will leave it in this notation in decimal form. Um, some others will require you to put it in percentage because a lot of times when we're talking about percentages, it makes more sense to people overall rather than fractions. So 53.57%. Uh, if you are doing calculations with this, like you're finding the margin of error or something like that, I recommend rounding at least to four decimal places or leaving it as a fraction for those calculations. So um, don't round too much. Like if you round this to only two places and you have to find the margin of error, you're um, your margin of error is going to be off significantly. So the more decimal places you have, the more accurate your answer is going to be. All right, so let's find another one. Um, for this one, we're finding the point estimate for this situation. 425 people surveyed out of 500 agreed with the initiative to improve the roadways. So again, we would just take our p hat. We would take our number of successes. So that would be 425 out of 500. And we would, this one ends up being an exact decimal, so you don't have to round on it. This one ends up being 0.85, or you could say 85%. So if I were using this as my point estimate, I could say approximately 85% of people agree with the initiative to improve the roadways. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you would like me to cover, please let me know that as well.